I want this in the audience. Me might come from the back and I will go to the front. Why is Belden Nama repelling potential coalition partners in his quest for political supremacy? Many of you may have your own opinion, but his blunt and straightforward character would be high at the top of that list. We must dispose them. The only way to uncover them is we dispose them from those positions they occupy. Then we can expose them, then we will dispose them. Australia is deliberately encroaching deeply into PNG politics. He emerged onto the political scene after the 2007 national election, serving as the Minister for Forestry under the Somare regime. But it was not until he joined the ranks of the opposition in 2010 that we as a nation started to literally notice him. Then in August of 2011, after an orchestrated move with heavyweights of the Somare government, the National Alliance Power Pact crumbled. Emerging as Prime Minister was Peter O'Neill and Belen Nama as his deputy. But the match made in Parliament seems to have withered during the election period. Please don't count the cheeks before the heads. He wants to remain as Prime Minister. He is ambitious and publicly announced he wants a top job too. And others like Don Collier have also shown interest. That party is a party that has got an open door policy. Uh, we are not um, uh, restricting ourselves, ourselves to uh, one group or um, one party. The bottom line, everyone wants a piece of the big time. Uh, I don't know where he's going to do the magic wand to get the numbers, but I wish him luck. You know? I, if I have the highest number, I would be still subject to see where the numbers go. It's too early. But are we back to square one again? Was the 10 months of political instability before the election just a phase? With the way things are playing out, it looks as though this team looks a bit too familiar. And this team looks like a former opposition. So what does Bell and Nama need to do to be a bit more inviting? Maybe stop, think, and then talk? Or is his fiery attitude and straightforward nature the antidote that we as a nation need to broker real change for the better? His way is unique, and sometimes unique is not always acceptable at first. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.